Hello, and welcome to a very special mini-sode of Faction Dive. Today we're covering the Kazon. What did the Kazon bring to the game? Well, they bring a lot of overpriced, expensive upgrades since they were all released basically near the beginning of the game. And then uh, WizKids pretty much said, let's just not produce any more Kazon. Uh, I think the most modern expansion they got was one that added time tokens to the faction. So aside from a few actually good upgrades, Kazon is filled with a lot of overpriced, really poor upgrades, and in fact a very, very, very terrible upgrade called Kazon Guard, which is an extremely overpriced, complicated card, which in a nutshell just lets you take the evade action as a discard. All right, how to beat the Kazon. Uh, beating the Kazon is quite simple. Essentially, build a good ship, then build another good ship, then build another good ship, and keep building good ships until you run out of points. This is because the only hope that the Kazon have is to build a really good ship. This is because the Kazon lack a good priced swarm ship, and all their upgrades are so expensive that if they put only one or two on a ship like the Klingons, their ships would instantly become way too expensive to fly. So their only real option is to shove as many cards on there as possible. And if you're playing any other faction, you'll be able to do that and have points to spare. So then you'll be able to build a couple extra ships, outnumbering them. There is one other strategy you can use with the Kazon, and that's to be flying some Predators and surround them with Raiders. The only problem with that is it requires you to actually buy more Kazon expansions, which no one actually wants to do. So... Now that you know how to play them, and how to defeat them, let me talk about the Buyer's Guide. Well, there's only five Kazon products, so just go out and buy them. Now, on to the top five. Alright, so uh, let's, let's just do a top five ranking for the best Kazon ships in the game, starting at fifth place with the Nistrum Raider. No, sorry, that's actually a good ship. The Halik Raider. Uh, when defending during the roll defense dice step, you may disable one of your active shields to gain plus two defense dice for that attack. Um, so that is plus two defense dice for that attack not for the entire round. So you only get the plus two defense twice once, and even if it was disable one shield and gain plus two for the entire round, like some sort of miniature cloak, like I originally thought it was, uh, until I read it right now and realized I was wrong, and the ability was even worse than I thought it was originally, even if it was just gain plus two defense dice for an entire round, at the cost of disabling a shield. That itself is kind of... Uh, how should I put it? Statistically fuzzy. I'm not sure if the math actually supports doing that. But now knowing that you actually have to keep a shield turned off for the whole whole round and you only get the plus two once. Um... Yeah. That, uh... That's really a terrible move. Okay, moving up to fourth place, we have the Ugla Razik. All friendly Kazon ships with a hull of four or less within range one to two of this ship gain plus one defense dice. Well, this ship forces you to actually buy more Kazon ships in order to use its ability. So that makes it suck right off the bat. Um, now let's see what else. Uh, Kazon ships with four or less. Well, there's only two types of Kazon ships. There's Predators with a Hall of 5, and Raiders with a Hall of 3. So your options are very limited. Um, otherwise, it's not the worst ability. Moving on to number 3, we have Nistrum Kala. When attacking a ship at range 3, uh, during the roll attack dice step, gain plus 1 attack die for every, every friendly ship within range 1. So this is pretty good, except for the whole range 3 part. Uh, the good... Oh, and it's a max of two. But the good news about this is, um... It doesn't need to be a Kazon ship, and that's why it's third place as opposed to fourth place. Now we're moving into, uh... Second place. What is the second best Kazon ship? The second best Kazon ship is the Nistrum Raider. 
Now, for a long time, this ship has been at the bottom of the barrel for even the Kazon, which is saying something. Uh, so, what is this ship's ability? Well, attacking a sh when attacking a ship with a scan token beside it, uh, your primary weapon... Uh, when you're using a primary weapon, um, roll plus two attack dice. So, uh, this was typically only useful in missions. In fact, I tried to run this in a mission where I knew everyone was going to be scanning, and it still didn't work out points-wise. There are literally better ships that you can build using upgrades that are cheaper than this, that do similar things. Anyway, uh, the reason this is second place now, jumped all the way from fifth to second, is because... Vulcans. Yeah, that's pretty much all I need to say. Now, uh, moving up to number one, we have the Rolora Saint Cor. Why is the Rolora Saint Cor good? Well, literally every time I bash the Kazon, someone eventually comes along and says, But the Rolora Saint Cor. Anyway, so that's the top five Kazon ships.